Integrity Composites presents DuraLife, inspired by nature, built to last. Every great deck project begins with a solid code compliant framing system. Visit DuraLifeDecking.com to download detailed installation instructions and check local building codes for proper deck framing requirements. DuraLife railways feature durable composite construction, matching post caps and collars, our proprietary uniball connector, and the flexibility of using one rail kit for multiple applications simply by changing the hardware. The railings are designed for use with all brands of decking available in eight standard colors to match or accent your newer or existing deck. Railways post sleeves fit over standard 4x4 wood posts. Railways structural post mount kits are available for attachment to concrete or wood surfaces. Alternatively, post sleeves may be installed over Railways structural surface mounts after the decking is installed. Once the sleeves are installed, position the two-piece post trim collars and snap them in place. Be sure all posts are level using a laser level, line level, or by measurement, trim if necessary. The 36 inch high railway kits are available in 6 foot and 8 foot lengths and feature pre-drilled pilot holes at baluster locations. Individual components including baluster kits for a 42 inch rail height are also available. Place the bottom rail between the posts on the deck surface and position the railing so that there is an equal distance from each post to the first baluster hole, centering the rail between the posts. Once the railing is centered and positioned properly, simply mark the railing at the post sleeve edge for cutting. Trim the railing at both marked locations using a chop saw. The railway's upper railing is identical to the lower railing, but its pilot holes are on the underside. Place the upper railing next to the trimmed lower railing, center it, and trim it to match. The uniball connectors allow the balusters to connect to the railings easily. Simply attach the uniball connectors at baluster locations using the supplied screw, fastening each connector at the pre-drilled pilot hole locations. Install the center support using another uniball connector. The railway's universal rail system can be installed on straight rails, sloping stair rails, or angled rails depending on the bracket used. Here, a 90 degree bracket is positioned and the hole locations are marked. Drill 7 and 32nd inch pilot holes and install the brackets using the supplied inch and a half lag screws. Install caps to conceal the screw heads. To allow for moisture drainage, drill two holes in equal distance from each post location. Position and fasten the lower rail to the posts using the supplied 2 inch lag screws and caps. Using the same procedure, install top rail brackets using inch and a half lag screws. Install the balusters onto the bottom railing using the uniball connectors. Do not remove a baluster once it has been applied to a connector. If you must remove one, replace the uniball connector with a new connector. Place the top railing onto the balusters and push down. Lightly tap the top rail in place with a non-marring rubber mallet. Center the upper railing on the post and mark the screw holes. Lean the entire assembly away. Drill the pilot holes. Lean the assembly back and install with 2 inch lag screws and caps. Install the matching post caps to complete the installation. The same rail kits are used for stair rail installation. Only the brackets change. Adjustable stair brackets are sold separately. Install the post sleeves over the 4x4 posts. Next, position the post trim collars and snap them in place. Place the bottom rail on the stair treads against the two posts. Center, sliding left or right until there is an equal distance from the end baluster pilot hole to the post sleeve. Make a mark along each post sleeve onto the rail to create the proper stair angle. Cut each end of the rail at the marks. Invert the top railing 180 degrees from its standard position. 
and place the rail on the stair treads against the two posts. Repeat the same angle cut measurement as the bottom rail, but slide the top rail down the stairs 5 16th inch before marking and cutting to ensure proper baluster alignment. Make a mark along each post sleeve onto the rail to acquire the proper stair angle. Cut each end of the rail at the markings. Install the uniball baluster connectors to each rail at the pilot hole locations. Place the brackets on the underside of the rail and position the brackets flush with the ends of the rail. Mark the screw hole locations and pre-drill using a 7 32nd inch drill bit. Fasten the brackets to the rail using the supplied 1 1⁄2 inch lag screws and washers. Adjust the bracket angle to match the cut edge of the railing. Cut the ends of each baluster to the angles already established from the top and bottom rail. Determine the height for the bottom rail and install using 7 32nd inch pilot holes and 2 inch lag screws and washers. Insert a baluster over each uniball connector on the bottom rail. Align and insert the top rail with the attached uniball connectors onto each baluster. Gently tap the rail down using a non-marring rubber mallet to secure it in position. Center the rail on the posts and mark each hole. Lean the assembly away and drill 7 32nd inch pilot holes. Fasten the top rail to the posts using the 2 inch lag screws and washers provided. Complete the installation by adding the post caps. For more videos and more information about our complete line of composite decking and railing solutions, visit DuraLifeDecking.com.